Hi everyone, today we're doing one of my all-time favourite experiments. It's the Cartesian Diver. What you'll need is a bottle of water, you'll need a straw, and I found these in the back of the pantry, would you believe? You'll need a paper clip, a bowl of water, and some plasticine or blue tack. Scrounge around and see what you can find there. First thing we'll do is we're going to bend the straw over and we're going to just trim off the excess that we won't need. We need about just open about half of that. And then I'm going to just, I've just squished my paper clip together to be able to fit that in both sides of the straw. That just holds it, to, it just holds the whole thing together. And then what I'm going to do next is get the blue tack and I'm going to be putting that around. That'll just hold it all together. It'll act as a weight, but it also seals seals the straw up and so no water will get inside there. Right. Okay, now it's all sealed. <coughs> Excuse me. Right, and this is where we've got the bowl of water. The bowl of water is just a trial first before we put things into the bottle. I'm going to put it in, just place it in and see if it Oh look, that one there stands. Sometimes you'll find that they sink straight down or go too high up, but that one there just sits just lovely, just a little bit above the water line level like that. So that's all ready to go. And so now what I can do is I can place that into my bottle and he's floating up and down like that. We'll seal it, seal it tight. And now we can give it a squeeze. Now you watch our little Cartesian diver and what's going to happen to him when I squeeze and then release. He goes up and down. Now what's going on is this. Inside that straw we've got that contained air and when we squeeze the bottle we're putting pressure on that air inside there making it a bit more dense and therefore boop, it goes down. And when you release the bottle it goes back up again we're getting a little less dense. This is a wonderful example of how Cartesian divers are used, well this theory with the Cartesian divers, are used for Argo floats. These Argo floats are a fabulous technology that are all over in our oceans measuring salinity and temperature. I'll put a link at the bottom of this video in the comments so you can find out a little bit more about them. Another thing that this Cartesian diver shows us is an example of how um, there's an air sac in fish and how they, they use muscles to squeeze that to go down and up again. Very cool. I'd love you to look and research a little bit further on that. Have a go for yourself. Oh, just a couple of things, just a bit of troubleshooting. If you find that this sinks, you've got to think why. It could be because there is too much air, um, there's um, a, um, a bit of water has found its way in, or it just could be that you just need a little bit of releasing the pressure here and putting it back on and you'll find it comes back up. All the best. Have a great time with that one. Bye now.